What up? I'm Josh Paulson, and this is Inspector Josh Investigates TV. We draw story writing lessons from popular and niche TV shows by reverse engineering them. Today, we'll be looking at Monk, Season 1, Episode 4, titled Mr. Monk Goes to the Carnival. Warning, spoilers for this episode are ahead. Today, we are going to look at the following statement. Observant characters need something observable that others may never notice. Here's why this matters. A good mystery is not determined by how much evidence there is to discover, but by the individual pieces of evidence that everyone else might miss. If you want to become great at mysteries, you don't need to work hard at making big pieces of evidence. Things should naturally fall into place that you can use as evidence. Here's how it works. When you develop a setting, as you develop it out, you will see opportunities for evidence. But the evidence ultimately comes from the characters. Develop the characters to get the evidence. Stuff that you may notice that's minor, but most other characters won't. The evidence that's left behind is dependent on the situation and scenarios, and the situations and scenarios are dependent on who the characters involved are. Here's how we can see it used in this episode of Monk. Now, Monk is rife with opportunities to express this idea. But we're going to look at one of the more innocuous ones. When Monk is meeting with an officer in the middle of the episode, the officer claims he and his wife are doing well. But Monk points out that from the books and plentiful plants around the house, the officer's wife obviously loved gardening. Yet, all the plants around are dying, and Monk calls the officer out. Here's how you can use this concept. You could come at these things with developing evidence several different ways. For example, you could develop cool pieces of evidence and try to figure out how to squeeze it into your story. That's really hard, though. You could develop a clean-looking scene where something dastardly happens and find the trails of evidence from there. That's easier. What I'm going to do in the future, and I recommend you try too, is developing characters who make an interesting crime scene or an interesting scene in general. Then have the observant character notice those things that hardly anyone would ever notice from the results of that scene. This is more of a character development approach. This is more of a creating the scene approach and then approaching the scene from another character's perspective afterwards. This is much easier because it is much easier to write characters than it is to figure out something interesting that some sort of characters would do at that type of specific level. So if you start with the characters, have them play out the scene, and then study it afterwards, you will have plenty of opportunities for developing evidence. Now, I don't know if Monk specifically did it this way. However, this is a way that you can handle it. And when it comes to the piece on the gardening with the one officer's wife, it seems like that could have easily come from seeing the officer's character. The officer was an angry person. The officer seemed to have some anger issues. It's not too surprising that now and then he and his wife would run into trouble. So, with that said, I think we can say, case closed. Thank you for listening. We'll be back with another episode next Monday. And if I'm not, feel free to call me out on Twitter at Josh Paulison. And you can check out hours of free resources for creating your own stories at joshpaulison.com. Have a fantastic week and let me know what cool stuff you're up to. Goodbye. <laughs>